Here is my trusty Koa TSN 883 spotting scope. I've got the sunshade slightly pulled out. That helps with any glare that we might get on the front lens. And I'm using my iPhone, uh, utilizing a phone scope brand digiscoping adapter. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna slide the adapter down over top of the eyepiece. It's gonna move the scope a little bit, so I'm gonna have to readjust. You can see I got a bit of a vignette um, or that blackened circle around the edges here. But all I need to do here is just I can run the zoom up on the scope eyepiece. Again, pardon the shaking a little bit, but you get the idea. Uh, until I've got a full frame image. I can adjust the spotting scope position and once again. I like this guy with his foot up right here. So I'm going to loosen the scope up a little bit until I get that one in focus. And centered. There we go. I'll select my autofocus point on that bird in particular. And if I need to, I can readjust the focus wheel here, which I really don't. But uh, you can see it going in and out of focus as I turn the focus wheel there, right? I go all the way up. Again, I can touch up the focus as necessary on this black bellied whistling duck. He's mostly here just chilling out. Uh, you can see his belly's in focus, but the foot's out of focus a little bit. There we go. How about that? And here we have a common gallinule preening itself. There it showed its candy corn beak for you a little bit. One thing I forgot to do here, which you always want to do, is hold down your subject on the phone so that the autofocus and auto exposure is locked in place so it doesn't search on you and go in and out of focus. So now it's locked. Shouldn't have that problem again. All right, so we've got some fun plunge feeding American white pelicans going back and forth here. Make for some great subjects. It's fun to watch, fun to video, but this would be a great subject in particular, I think, to use the slow motion video.